Hey people, welcome to part 3. I'm going to show you some more stuff um, on the um, tour. Okay, come this way. So here we have our Metachromoceratus. There's one just down there, it's a bit hard to see. This is their little breeding set up here, there's only a few in here. Um, so, um, yeah, and there's going to be more. Look, okay, so this is our mix tank for the meantime. They're just getting sorted out until we have a place for them to go to a species. Uh, what we have in here uh, is mostly electric yellows and, and we do breed in here as well though this eventually will just become an electric yellow tank only. We have two groups of electric yellows, we've got your albino electric yellows and you've got your just your general electric yellows here. Also got some OBs. Yeah. Um, yeah, some white knight. And we also have some strawberry peacocks. Oops, sorry. Some strawberry peacocks here. Uh, so these guys are going to be sorted out into their own breeding groups. And their own tank is um, said everything's um, been expanded at the moment, so there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of work involved. Some of it will be shown, some of it won't be, uh, but that'll be at a later date. Um, and I will do an update video at some stage. Alright, so this is another room we have here. Um, this is the general tank. Uh, it's one of the very many mixed community tanks we have. We've got um, lots and lots of uh, guppies, and some, as you see here, this is a bristlenose. And this knows a lot of place. Um, there's uh, ladies, we have uh, a couple of varieties in here, mostly blue wags uh, and a few sunsets. Uh, there's also a couple of calico sunsets in there as well. Um, and it's very good. It's quite a crowded tank, but we have a little filtration system that's been cleaned every day. Couple of plants in there that help with filtration as well. Plants are always good for your tank. Uh, I've got a video on that. Um, in here, some young um, blue egg ladies. Got some young blue eggs. It's basically a beating tank. Most of these have to come out. And, uh, let's go in there. Okay, down here we have our young baby Africans. This is basically the fry tank. So it's more fry and mix like these, the more we get more we put up. Um, this is just one of many fry tanks. There's a lot of Kenny in here and um, electric blues and peaches. Uh, there's also a few rusties. Um, so yeah, there's uh, quite a few little things in there. Um, young electric blues in there too. So if we come back up to here. We now have um, young crabs. Um, these are saddle book size too. Um, so we have um, quite a few of these guys. Uh, also, with, um, some breeding blue blue wags. Um, and then a couple of guppies too. They, crabs are a very friendly one of a few sort of uh, cichlids you can keep with. As a community fish. However, they do pair up, you can have uh, problems where they will defend their babies for their life, and anything seen as a threat will be either beating them to one side or they have little rips taken out of them. But um, if you keep them as all girls or all boys, you don't seem to have that problem at all, and they're very peaceful. We have our Brady Muskers over here too. These guys are. A little over a year old. Uh, you've seen in the uh, first and second video. Um, they've got a new tent they're going to be going into when we get the potential in size and these guys. This is a little over foot. There's a young um, white convict in there too. No, oh, sorry, an old, old white convict. And these guys are pretty cruising and cool. Then the 
have wild time sort of motion so we can need to do this stuff. Sounds a bit of a difficult one to see and, um, and here we have some tea bars. Yeah I wonder if I can find them. Nope, they're not showing today. Probably in that cave. Well, that was really up the road. There we go. Sorry, top view, guys. There's two and airboy and girl in there. Um, definitely peered up. Let's do bottom. Hey, well, I've come in. Yeah, this is our. There's a mini sump system. So in here we have sawtails and we've got albino crabs. Um, as well as some general crabs in there, some golden albino crabs. Mine's a golden albino, dead's a general albino. Okay. Over here we have a... Uh, now these are, these, are, these are more baby uh, ghost platinum angels. And they have a bunch of eggs on the leaves once again. And they produce millions of little babies for us. Um, we sell these guys off quite regularly. Um, $15 each in New Zealand if you guys are interested in them at some stage. For young ones of course, these are not big ones. Uh, of course these, these two are, are adults but we sell the younger ones off. Um, this is where we keep our fry in here. But I have to see there. There's a few floating in there. It's actually a few that will hang around the bottom and stuff. Alright. Down here is a. There's some green swords and there's a golden albino um, crab, as I was saying. That, that's, that's the mum of them. Dad's floating around in there somewhere. So, yeah. It's quite a nice thing. Okay. Uh, this is just a bit of a plant to take, not, not much of a great one, but they like plants and feel happy so they produce easier. Okay, and here we have our, our mixed taps. Once again, these guys are just ready to be um, put into species tanks, because I prefer to keep them species, because the way you breed them properly, you don't get crossbreeds or anything like that. We have our electric blue alleys. And um, we've got Weed Emperor Skills in there, as well as Electric Weed Girls, as you can see. Uh, we've got Young Giraffes. Loving Stone, they sleep on the bottom. They're not so active at this time, I haven't long turned on the light, so they've kind of been a bit sleepy. Large uh, Yellow Jakes. He's got a bit of a lump at his tail. Um, So, Right, so out here's our, our minnow ponds. Um, there's um, quite a few minnow, minnows. These are the golden white clouds. And, um, it's not our breeding set up here, it's just a, a sales area. Um, I'm not going to show you um, anything to do with our breeding side of it, but um, just of interest, this is one of the ones for that. Uh, so there's a golden white cloud minnows and over here is our long thin white cloud minnows. There's quite a few just all under that weed.
Yeah.